This is a common type of a video capture device. They record what's being played through it. The problem with these is that it distorts the original video and audio quality. So when you want to capture a video, you should instead use the ADVC 110. It does a really good job at keeping the original quality. It uses a component input and output, and to project to your computer, it uses a Firewire 6-pin cable. There are some drawbacks to the ADVC 110. These being that you have to have a 6-pin Firewire port on your computer. If you do not have that, you would have to install a Firewire card. Also, the computer has to be running an older version of Windows. This one I'm using is running Windows Vista. When installing the Firewire card, it goes into the smallest PCI Express port on the motherboard. The ADVC 110 can be used with basically any device that has component as an output, like a VHS player, DVD player, Nintendo 64, NES. Then you plug the output of the video or game device into the front of the ADVC 110. Then you plug one of the ends of the 6-pin cable into the Firewire port of your computer. Then the other side of the cable into the capture device. After fully plugging in the device to the computer, it should open up a window for the recording. The window will give you some preferences and then you will be at the recording screen, where you can see the output of the device and the option to start the recording. When the recording is started, it tells you how much is imported, the file size, and the remain space. Once you are done recording, click Stop Video Imports, and then the window will close and bring you to the recorded video's file location, where you can then view the video. If you cannot get to the video importer, there's another way to do it. Click the start button on the taskbar and search up Windows Movie Maker. This will open the Movie Maker where you can choose to import from digital video camera. Then you select the name of the video and where you are importing and the format. Then you can choose to import the entire thing or just parts of it. And now you're back to the import video window. Once you finish with the video, it will show up in the Movie Maker, or you can find it in the Videos folder. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below.